What is going on guys and well as you all know the early access of Battlefield 2042 is now available so I'm going to jump right into this right now. I'm sure many people are wondering about the weapons and all that which I'm sure many people have already shown and all that but let's jump right into this right now. So I'm going to show the specialist that I can at least except for Mackie here that's level 15 and then the other character that does like the hacking thing has basic level 25 there. So let's starting right off with the first specialist here. Let's look at all the skins you can unlock for her here. So here's the first one there. Kills and assists for smart explosives, and the next one, level 43 for that one. Moving over, I can actually equip that one, which looks pretty cool there. Let's put that one on. And then going down, here's another blue skin here, Night Operation. So it looks like the skins have a good amount of detail. Moving over, High Velocity, level 94 for that one. Looks pretty awesome. And these are the purple skins here. Stormwalker looks pretty awesome. Kills and assists with Sundance's smart explosives. Okay, looks like that's basically the same thing as up here, just 120 instead. And then moving down, let's take a look at this is tier 1, kills and assists with Sundance Smart Explosive, 1,200 kills. That's absolutely insane. Although, shows look pretty awesome. And then moving over, combat uniform, obviously, is going to basically be the same thing here. And then you're going to be able to look at headgear if you guys want to put separate things on there. And then the takedowns right here. Here's the other takedown. Definitely tell they did get these from Modern Warfare, which I'm sure everybody knows. Overall, that is pretty cool. Let's move on to the next character now. So let's look at Dozer. So the skins look pretty cool overall, I have to admit, so far. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more that they may add in battle passes and stuff like that. Night Operations looks pretty cool. Here are the purple skins now. Tip of the Spear. That looks pretty awesome. So kills with Dozer's SOB8 Ballistic Shield. Now, I did see something about this not being like temporarily disabled right now, so pretty interesting. Here's a blast resistant level 85 for that one. That looks awesome. I like the detail of the skins. And then bottom here, 800 kills of the ballistic shield there. That skin looks very, very nice. I do really like that. And then if you guys are wondering, the combat uniform and headgear is basically you can mix and match them if you would like, which is pretty cool, which I know they did talk about that a while ago there. So pretty cool to see that in there. And let's look at the takedowns for Dozer right now, which I have a feeling these are all actually the same for each character here. Which indeed they are, so all the takedowns are the same if you guys are wondering there. Let's move over. So I cannot do Mackie yet, but he was the one that was in the beta that everyone was using. Uh, level 15 for him, so let's go take a look at Irish right now. Naval Eyes looks pretty awesome. Let's put Mamba on there. Moving down here, Night Operations. Tier 1, so APS 36 shoot down Sentinels. You got Destroy, okay. 3200, not too bad I guess. I guess we're going to see how hard these actually are. And that is the last skin there. It looks pretty awesome. So a good detail on the skins. And then again, you can mix and match them there if you would like. Moving over to Boris. So you have the rare skins for Boris right here. It looks like all the skins are basically named the same as well, if you guys are wondering. So it looks like there's not anything too crazy there. At least some of them anyway. A little green man. That looks pretty cool. So damage inflicted with Boris Sentry Gun. And the bottom one here, level 77 for his final skin. That looks really awesome. I do like the detail of the skins at least. And then next is Casper here. Looks pretty cool. Naval Eyes looks pretty awesome as well. Equip that on there. Moving down, we have Night Operations. Jungle Ready looks pretty awesome. And then finally, Casper right here. That looks pretty amazing. So I guess we can say that the detail of the skins is pretty good. And then moving over, we're going to take a look at Ryo, which I probably butchered that. Taking a look at the skins right here. So I'd say most people are probably going to go after the purple skins if I can imagine anyway, because they do look pretty awesome. But again, pretty cool there. And then moving over here to Folk here, let's take a look at her skins next. I'd like to know all your guys' thoughts, by the way, on all the skins so far in the game. What do you guys think about all these? Do you like them? I guess think the detail is overall on them. And then the last one over here, Angel. Moving down over here. I don't want to take too much time on these. Just show them a little bit. Pretty awesome looking. And then finally the last skin for him right here. And that's going to pretty much do it for all the characters. And now let's move in to the weapons. So jumping right into the weapons in the base game here. So starting off, we have the G57. You guys will see the top three weapons here. Plus the Marksman Sniper are the guns you basically can start off with there. So here's the secondary weapons here. The M28. Got an M28 9mm pistol into a stable and accurate carbine. Looks pretty nice. Moving down here, M44, which that gun was the weapon that was in the beta there. Nice revolver there. Moving over the PBX-45, this was also in the beta. 
I did actually like how that gun performed. It was fun to use. Definitely good at longer and medium ranges as well. For an SMG, it was pretty impressive. PB29. And then moving down to the MP9. Obviously a more futuristic version of the MP7. And then the K30 here, which is also in the beta. Very, very fun gun to use as well. Moving over to the M5A3. And then moving down to the AK-24. And finally the S4, the s far MGL. I don't even know what I was trying to pronounce there. Pretty good gun. Looks like it's a built-in grenade launcher on it there. And then moving down the AC-42, which is actually a pretty cool looking weapon. You guys see that most of the guns are basically like upgraded versions over here. So moving over to the LCMG. I used this weapon probably more than anything else in the beta. My goodness, was this thing amazing. Completely lasered everything, even close range. It was really, really good. Moving down, PKP BP. Looks pretty cool as well. Effective support fire of belt fed 7.62. Very interesting gun there. And finally, Marks Weapons DM7. Pretty cool weapon overall. When I was using that, I was kind of mixing the DMRs, honestly, but it's definitely seemed like a good weapon in the right hands. Moving down, SVK. Nice little scope there. And then moving down, the V car after that. Very interesting looking weapon, if I do say so myself. And then after that, we have a Sniper SWS-10. And then finally, the DXR-1. I think it's dope looking. And then down at the bottom here, the NTW-50, which is the gun I think that's been circling a little bit. This is the 50 cal, basically. And it looks like it does one shot, which is going to be very interesting in multiplayer. And after that, we have the MCS-880. For the shotgun there, and then the GVT-4570. Lever action rifle there. Pretty awesome. I do love myself a lever action rifle. And then moving down here is going to be a 12M auto, which is going to be looking like a shotgun, I'm guessing. Um, probably going to be really good. So I'm sure many people are wondering. There's only 22 weapons in the game at release, but I'm sure many will come out. Uh, look at Battle of Four and stuff like that. That all the guns that came out later on. So we just have to basically wait and stuff like that. Try to level up and get these weapons currently. Moving over to the gear now. Let's check this all out. So obviously the frag grenade there. Just a little animation there, what it does. Moving down here, the smoke grenade. And then down here we have the proc sensor, which a couple of these items were in the beta as well, so I'm pretty much showing you what they do there. The EMP grenade, throwing it at the vehicle there. Moving over, basically a grenade that makes everything light on fire. Most of the games have this. Then we have the medical crate there. And then we have the ammo crate after that. Then moving down, we have the recoilless M5, which is going to be the rocket launcher that was also in the beta. I found that thing pretty dang useful, honestly, especially blowing vehicles up. It did a great job. Big fan of it. And the repair tool after that, I was using that a little bit as well. That was also in the beta. And then moving up to the gadget here, we have the FXM33AA missile, which is basically a stinger from like Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. Locks onto the enemy there in an air vehicle. Probably very, very useful. IBA armor plate. So it gives you guys a little bit of armor there. And moving down, C5 explosive, aka C4. And then moving down here, we have the insertion beacon, which is, my guess, a spawn beacon for your squad members, which is indeed what it is there. Moving up, we have the med pen. Which is basically going to heal you up. Pretty cool there. Level 26 to get that unlocked. Well, for other issues, consult your physician. Okay, I see a little joke stone in there. Anti-tank mine. I wonder what these do. Probably going to be very effective in blowing vehicles up. Unless you can actually spot them and all that. And then down here we have the Soflam, which I probably ruined that as well. Basically going to lock on vehicles for you so your teammate can shoot the rocket launcher at it. You can also do that in Battlefield 3 and 4, I believe, as well. I miss doing that a little bit. Anyway, let's move on to the vehicles now. So here are all the vehicles in the game as well. So the Lat V4 Recon, which I might be butchering these names, so bear with me on that. EBA AAA Wildcat there. Moving down, we have the Mav. Very cool looking tanks here. Moving over, we have the LC AA Hovercraft, which I'm sure many of you guys are seeing people run these already in the game for early access and all that. Moving down, the MD540 Nightbird. Then down here, we have the M5C Bolte, which, like I said, I'm probably destroying these names. M1, M1A5 looks awesome there. 
you guys want to see the customization on these as well i can't really show the other vehicles because they are locked i'll get into that in a second actually and then the ahg4 i might even the apache whatever you want to call it awesome looking helicopter and then the mv38 condor there you guys probably recognize a lot of these vehicles from the beta f35e panther t28 down here we have the ka520 super hokam maybe i ruined that too and over here we have the mi240 super hind hind whatever these names want to be honestly su57 felon very awesome looking so if you guys do want to check the skins out i'll show these as well and like the well i should say the upgrades and all that for that matter obviously the heat shell there the staff shell moving down here coax light machine gun and then the heavy machine guns down here you can see you have to get for the kills and all that to unlock it smoke discharger smoke launcher you get the thermal smoke package at the end so it looks like the vehicles have a good amount of customization and things to do to them and then a repair system there that will probably be really really useful weapon station here so heavy machine gun up there is already equipped and you get a mini gun or you can also do the tow missile wire guided missile at a Allows operator to anticipate and track fast moving guitar enemies. Pretty cool there. And then moving over the weapon pod there. So on the top here we have 40 millimeter volley pod, the canister weapon pod after that. And then we have the rocket pod. And then moving down we have the kinetic grenade pod, 60 millimeter mortar weapon pod after that. And then finally in the commander seat here, you can pretty much activate some stuff here as well. Pretty cool overall. Moving over to the helicopter after that, smart rockets, get some lovely 127mm anti-vehicle rocket pack there, 70mm after that, and then moving down we have the missile there, air to ground missile, wired guided missile, and then the missile countermeasures there at the bottom, and then finally another repair system there, so you basically repair it similar to Battlefield 5 most likely, and then gunner here obviously 30mm cannon, and I'm sure that thing's probably insanely good. And you guys can look at the skins here if you want to check these out as well. I probably should show these on the tank, but I can always go back into them. So you guys want to see the legendary ones more than anything. Pretty cool looking. And then the finally that one. Looks like the red and black like camo there seems to be on a lot of items there. You can also do decals if you want as well on the wing it looks like. Free Wi-Fi, need a ride, and so on. I'm guessing the tank has, you know similar things here so i'll go right down to these skins there's that one black and red skin i was talking about and then finally the bottom here looks pretty cool you can also do the decals on it which are all going to be the same it looks like for each vehicle moving over let's check out these skins and and or upgrades for this so missile countermeasures repair systems there for pilot nothing crazy gunner has the grenade launcher and the 50 millimeter cannon then in gunner 2 Minigun pods, and then minigun pods as well. Hardware appearance here. Let's go down and check out these skins. So you guys, all these skins look like they are indeed the same for each vehicle, if you are wondering. Carbon series, and then tier 1 there. The black and red skin tone again, and then there's the decals. Moving over to this plane here. 25mm cannon, 30mm cannon there. Then you have the missile for secondary weapon, air to ground missile. And then the radar missile after that. And then countermeasures right there. And that's all you can do with the plane. Nothing too insane. Moving over, these are all the same skins I did mention before. Then we have the carbon series after that. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the skins and all that for the vehicle so far. What do you guys think about it? Is it good? You know, let me know in the comments below there. Decals are all the same as well. So let's move over to the Russian vehicles now. Either the shell, heat shell. This is going to basically be the same upgrades on this tank, obviously, as the other one. Considering it's the same thing, tow missile, weapon pods, basically are all the exact same things as the other one there. Most likely going to be the same for the skins. It is right there. I actually like that one just because of that bumper it puts on the tank. looks very, very nice. Helicopter is going to be the same as well if you guys are wondering. And then here are the skins here. Pretty cool looking. Let's move over now to the jet. You guys see the jets are basically the same. All of, obviously they're got to be the same thing, just different sides there. 
then here are the skins there and that'll pretty much do it honestly for all that now obviously in the side over here we have the drone and that's basically all the things you can unlock here currently um i can also jump into the store obviously nothing there yet uh, i believe the battle pass is supposed to come out next year so that's pretty much all we got and that is not what that drone's supposed to look like there's a little drone which is that dog with the machine gun thing on it that you saw running around That'll pretty much do it, guys, for all the things in the game so far. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts and all that good stuff in the comments below with all of it. What do you think about the guns, the weapons so far? I'll be jumping into Portal later on today as well and checking that out more.